Since last week's video, I've received so many questions, and the main question I've received is, how do I configure an expression pedal to act more like a wah with the Ampero 2 Stomp? Well, stick around, because in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hey everybody, it's Scott at The Pedal Guy. How you doing? Hope you're having a great week. In today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how to configure an expression pedal to work as a wah with the Ampero 2 Stomp. But before we get to it, if this is your first visit to my channel, take a second, click on that subscribe button down there, give me a thumbs up, help my video rank in the YouTube algorithm so I can make more content for you. So to make this whole setup work, you're gonna need two things. The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need an expression pedal. But most importantly, you're gonna need an expression pedal with a toe switch output. And I'm using the Headrush expression pedal for this demonstration. But any pedal that has a toe switch output, that will do just fine. And what this will do is it will enable you to do two things. One, to turn the effect off and on, and then to manipulate that effect as you would a wah pedal. But the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need another expression pedal input. Because remember, the Ampero 2 Stomp only has one. So you're gonna to need to trigger this by MIDI and the Ampero Control is a great solution for this. And I'll show you how to configure this in the next few minutes. To kick things off, what I'm gonna do first is just explain how everything's connected. We have three main elements here. We have the Ampero 2 Stomp, we have the expression pedal, and we have the Ampero Control. So the expression pedal has two outputs. It has the toe switch output, which is connected to the expression pedal input on the back of the stomp. We have the expression output, and that's connected to the expression input here on the Ampero control. I've also connected the MIDI output of the Ampero control to the MIDI input on the side of the Ampero 2 stomp. And that's essentially all you need to do in order to connect everything first. Next, what we need to do is we need to configure the Ampero control, and then finally configure the Ampero 2 stomp. And I'm gonna cover that right now. What we're gonna to need to do first is identify the MIDI controller numbers that will be needed in order to make this setup work. And we need two of them. We need MIDI controller number 11, which handles the expression pedal. And we also need MIDI controller number 48 that handles slot A1, because on slot A1 of this patch, I've already popped in a wah pedal. At this point, what we need to do is we need to configure the Ampero control by way of the Ampero control app. Now, this part of the video assumes that you've already used the Ampero control. If you haven't, you're in luck. I've already done a video that'll show you how it works and I'll leave a link in the video description below. But for now, let's go ahead and move forward. As you can see, I've already created a bank called Ampero Stomp and we have our four foot switches and then we have the control input one and control input two. For this demonstration, all we need to do is use control input one. And right now it's set to single foot switch and that's obviously not what we want. We want to change the type from single, single foot switch to expression pedal. Press OK. And the next thing we need to do is we need to assign a controller number to the expression pedal, which as you'll recall is controller number 11. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign there at the bottom right corner. And I'm going to go ahead and assign uh, the data one, which is the controller number, and I'm gonna type in 11. The data two is set to as a minimum to zero. We need to set the data max to 127 because that's the maximum resolution. And I'll keep the curve exactly the way it is. Everything else is fine. So if I go back one, you wanna make sure that you hit the save button and save your configuration. And at that point, the Ampero control is now configured correctly in order to make this whole setup work. Next thing we're gonna do now is we're going to make some adjustments inside of the Ampero 2 stomp. Finally, what we need to do now is we need to configure the Ampero 2 Stomp. And this is accomplished in two steps. If we go to the edit window, you can see that the wah is right there in slot A1. And if I scroll to the far right of that effect, you can see that the position indicator is right here. And this is what we need to affect because this is what makes a wah sound like a wah. So this is accomplished in two steps. One is to go to the control slash expression settings, go to expression settings, and we need to establish our target. Just toggle over one with the far left knob and it goes to A1, which is perfect. That's exactly where we need to be, but we just need to change the parameter to position. Next up, we need to go to expression range and you wanna set this to a more realistic minimum and maximum value. 
because going from zero to 100 can be a bit jarring and you may not be happy with the results. So I'm gonna stick with a minimum of 23 and a maximum of 74. You can always change that later if you want to. Additionally, you can change the curve. You have linear, you have exponential, and you have logarithmic. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with linear. I'm gonna go back out. And next thing I'm gonna do is go over to global. I'm gonna select global, go to controls. And what I want to do is go over to the second screen here where I can toggle between expression or single foot switch. And you can see I've already set it up to be a switch for A1 to be turned off and on. So whenever I use the toe switch on the expression pedal, it will turn that effect on. So if we go back out to the top level, let's go back into edit. Let's also make sure that we save the patch because if you don't, you won't know what happened. So if I go over to the position indicator, I know you can't see the expression pedal, but if I use the expression pedal now, you can see that it is affecting the uh, position parameter on the wah. And if I use the toe switch, it turns the effect off and it turns it on. And that's literally all there is to it. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found it helpful. Now, in addition to what I've shown you here as far as what you can do with the Ampero Control and the Ampero 2 Stomp, that's just scratching the surface. There's so much more you can actually do with it. So be sure to experiment and we'll see you in the next video. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.